exercising, your muscles need fuel a lot quicker than when you're just relaxing. This fuel, including oxygen and nutrients, is carried to your muscles by your blood. Your blood, of course, is pumped by your heart, through your arteries, and finally to your muscles so that they can use the oxygen and nutrients to move your body. The amount of blood pumped out of your heart in one minute is called your cardiac output. Like I mentioned in my last video, regardless of your fitness, your cardiac output at rest is going to be roughly around five liters. But the difference between a trained heart and an average heart is seen when you're no longer at rest. When you start running, rowing, cycling, swimming, or whatever it is that you do, your cardiac output is going to significantly increase. The harder the effort, the more oxygen demanded by your muscles. If the muscles can't get the oxygen they need, then they're gonna fatigue and you're gonna have to slow down or stop. So the quicker that the heart can supply the muscles with the oxygen they need, the better. So how can we help our hearts out here? How can we train our hearts to send oxygen at a faster rate? Well, there are kind of two possibilities here. To increase our cardiac output, we either have to increase the rate that our heart is beating or increase our stroke volume. Stroke volume is the amount of blood that the heart can squeeze out in one contraction. While we can change our heart rate to a certain extent during a workout by altering our intensity, we all have a maximum heart rate and there's just not much that we can really do about that. But our stroke volume, on the other hand, can definitely be improved. Number one, increasing the size of the left ventricle will boost stroke volume. The larger the ventricle is, the more blood it can hold and the more blood it can squeeze out in each beat. And number two, increasing the strength of our cardiac muscle will also improve our stroke volume. When the heart contracts, it never really pushes all of the blood out of the ventricle. There's always just a little bit left hanging out in there. But when the heart is stronger, it can contract with more force, causing more blood to leave the heart. One of the best ways to increase both the size and strength of your heart is through interval training. During the hard repetition of an interval workout, your heart rate is elevated and your blood is moving really quickly. When you're moving from that hard rep into your recovery period, your heart rate drops fairly fast, but your blood takes a little bit longer to slow down. When the blood returns back to the heart, the heart is forced to fill more fully to accommodate for that faster, high-speed blood. Since the heart is now holding more blood than it usually does, it's going to eject more blood than it usually does, so your stroke volume is going to temporarily increase. Over time and repetitions and recovery, your heart is eventually going to adapt and your overall stroke volume is going to improve. Increasing your stroke volume is going to increase your cardiac output. You'll be able to send more oxygen to your muscles when they need it, allowing you to run or cycle or row or swim, again, whatever you do, stronger and longer. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something about your heart. Um, see you in two weeks.